Hi guys, hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Got a good story for you today. Found this story in a thread about a guy wanting to make a piss take dungeon and it actually turned out pretty good. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let's get into the video. So my group wants me to make a dungeon for our 4th edition campaign and I don't want to. They're persistent however and I'm thinking of doing a mock slash satirical dungeon just for the hell of it. Any idea how a dungeon party would work? Make the dungeon nice. With friendly drows, playful beasts, pacifist greenskins, local lich overlord acting like a caring mare, pit traps full of pillows and kittens and so on. Make sure the players won't be able to have a single fight in the dungeon because it's too nice and peaceful for that. DM. You step into a large hallway with statues of armoured knights spaced equally along the walls. There are several doors on the north and south sides with a pair of imposing double doors at the eastern end. Party. We go in to do some dungeon devilin' bro. DM. Rolls behind screen. The fighter steps forward and feels the floor sink slightly beneath his feet, triggering a trap. Confetti pops from the ceiling and a paper banner floats from above. Welcome adventures. Fighter. The hell? Wizard. Looks like we were expected to come. Rogue. I'll start looking for traps. Cleric. Let's try out the first north door on the left. DM. After checking the door for traps, you open it to reveal a room where the centre has a large pit filled with lots of little multicoloured balls. The walls appear to be lined with white wallpaper and crudely drawn with strange, undecipherable pictures. Wizard. Can I try to figure out what they mean? DM. Sure, go ahead. Wizard rolls for all knowledge checks. DM. You think they may be ruins of a dark and foul necromantic powers. Cleric also does some rolls. DM. You think the drawings are baby animals, maybe by small children. Fighter. Well, I'm not going in there. That's obviously evil. Rogue. Let's start working through the south door instead. DM. Alright then. You open the first door directly across from the ball pit room, revealing a room filled with chairs placed in a circle with posters of different languages and pictures on the walls. DM. Sitting in the chairs are several creatures, gnolls, kobolds, orcs, and an ogre is currently crying on the shoulder of a gargoyle, blubbering something in giant. The gargoyle pats the ogre and comforts the large humanoid. He looks in your direction and whispers, Hey, can you come back later? We just made a breakthrough with Umph's inferiority complex. DM. And for the ogre then cries out, Oh, why won't daddy love me? Fighter. Yeah, we're going to close the door. Fighter. That's it. Screw this dungeon. Let's leave. This is obviously a waste of time. Cleric. I don't know. I like that last room. Maybe we could help Umfa. Wizard. I open the next south door. DM. Within this room contains several bits of furniture. Plus chairs line the walls nearest you. While a desk is on the farthest side. You see a succubus sitting in the desk, apparently busy with paperwork. She glances in your direction and replies in a bored and nasally tone. Like, take it over and I'll be right with you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue. We're in the DMV. Cleric. Next room, next room! Wizard. What? Why? There's no one else here. Clerk, our number is 4073. The counter over there says seven. Fighter, telling you guys, a waste of DM. The next room you open reveals a gallery of strange machines, each flashing with spectacular lights and emanating exciting sounds of music and other things of that sort. You see two small humanoids currently fiddling with one of the machines, excitedly toggling with buttons and levers. Another one cheers them on, wrapped up in their excitement as they gaze upon the luminescent screen before them. Fighter. Finally! I charge the nearest DM. Make a will save. Fighter. What? Okay. Rolls. Damn it! DM. You charge up to the small humanoids, but catch a glimpse of what holds them enthralled. You can't tear your eyes away as the lights and sounds envelop your mind. You immediately call dibs on the machine when the creatures run out of silver. Rogue. Next room. God damn it, DM! Fighter. How much longer am I stuck here? DM. How much silver do you have? Fighter. About 17 pieces? DM. Good for a while. Cleric. It's okay, he'll be fine for a while. What's the next room? DM. 
The next rather large room contains several tables and chairs, with several creatures sitting at each of them. As adventurers, it seems reminiscent of a tavern, but the room smells faintly of grease and bacon instead of spilled ale and mutton. Rogue. Damn it! Now we need a meat shield. How many monsters are there? DM. A dozen, give or take. Strangely, most appear to be more busy with their meals and only give you a cursory glance before ignoring you. Cleric. Meal? What are they eating? DM. Rolls behind screen. The knoll here seems to have ordered the grilled cockatrice salad. Wizard. A knoll eaten salad? Cleric. I hate you so much, DM. Rogue. That's all the south doors. I guess we'll finish the north ones. Fighter. Am I free yet? DM. Not by a long shot. On the plus side, the little monsters are cheering you on as you continue pounding away at the buttons. Fighter. Goddamn video games. Wizard. So let's check this room out while he racks up a new high score. DM. Similar to the room Fighter stuck in, there are several machines lining the walls, albeit without the lights and music. However, a sick sweet odour emanates from within. A few creatures are underneath the hood of several of the machines, which whir and hum with a strange and eldritch magic. None of them appear to have noticed your presence, as all of them are busy reading from the small leaflets of parchment and the droning of the machines have drowned out your footsteps. Wizard. No will save? DM. A dryad appears from behind the far counter and beckons you to enter. Rogue. Hell no, I'm staying right here. Cleric, oh come on, it's a dryad. They're pretty nice if I recall. I enter and talk to the dryad. DM, the dryad smiles as you approach. It's a good thing you've come, dearie. You're an absolute mess. We'll get you fixed up with a new style. That one you're sporting is just droll. Cleric, what? DM, with that, she places you in a chair and leans it back towards a wash basin. Rogue, yeah, we'll be back later, Cleric. Wizard, Get something sporty. I love chicks with bobcats. Cleric. I don't want to... Really? A bobcat? Fighter. Wait. You said I could get a high score. DM. Well, I suppose so, but... Fighter. I roll to kick ass at this game. Roll. DM. You fail miserably. On the bright side, you're halfway out of the silver. Fighter. God damn it. Rogue. Next room. Where the hell is the treasure in this dungeon? DM. You enter a large wing of the dungeon called Felmart. Wizard and Rogue. Next room! Cleric. Could I get my hair dyed? Just just the tips. I think it'll look good with a bob. DM. I don't know if your god would like that. He's all about being pure of heart and stuff. Cleric. What's being pure of heart got to do with looking good while doing good? DM. The dyes were tested on dire animals. Cleric. What? That's inhumane. Wizard. Clears throat. So, what's in the next room? DM. It appears to resemble a tavern room earlier, but the shadows seem to wrap themselves in every corner of this room. You smell a fragrant aroma which immediately perks you awake, as if roused from a drowsy slumber. Rogue. This better not all have been a dream. DM. A large troll sits at a nearby table, tapping away at a small stone tablet. Strangely, the troll appears garbed in garish and unusual clothing and wears spectacles with a foppish hat on top of his enormous head. He glances in your direction and scowls. Wizard, oh shit, we shouldn't have split the grip, this is bad. DM, the troll scoffs and takes a sip of his brew from a tiny cup. Great, adventures. Figured this place would get mainstream. Rogue, I hate you so much. I hate you so much! Wizard, can I have some of that brew of his? DM, make me a diplomacy check. Wizard, rolls. Hell yes, natural 20 bitches! DM, the troll rolls his eyes and hands you his tiny cup. It appears similar to your frothy ale, but smelling of... Wizard, I drink it. One solid gulp. DM, okay. Fortitude save. Wizard, rolls. Oh dear, DM, you suddenly feel your heart pounding rapidly as the blood rushes to your face. Rogue, you don't look so good, man. DM, the wizard quickly passes out, fainting onto the floor. The troll chuckles to himself while continuing to tap on his stone tablet. Too underground for him. <coughs> Figures. Rogue, I can't drag around the wizard. Are you guys done yet? DM, 
the cleric is still deciding on getting a perm instead of a bob. And Fighter rules behind screen. Is that the last boss? Fighter, hell yeah! How am I doing on silver? Rogue, facepalm, cleric. I don't know, I spent a long time growing my hair out, wizard. But a bob is both stylish and functional. You don't want all that hair getting in the way when you're fighting monsters, rogue. The only monsters we've been fighting is the 8-bit ones where fighter is. Fighter. And being a total badass doing it. DM. Are you going to stand around while wizards are cold? Rogue. No. He can lie there for a bit. I'm pretty sure the troll's too busy with his tablet to care. DM. True. He's just tapping away and completely ignoring the both of you. Rogue. On to the next room then. Wizard. Man, why can have been special brownies? DM. Oh, he has those too. Did I forget to mention that? Wizard. God damn it. DM. The last room. Beside the double doors. Actually, has no door. It's simply a short hallway that goes down for about five feet. Then branches off into different directions. Rogue. Well, that's unfortunate. DM. On the sides of the wall are plaques. With small iconic pictograms engraved on them. The first with a man. The second with a woman. The third? Rogue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a minute. There's a third? Fighter. Dude, check it out. It's gotta be something weird. Like bidets on the ceiling or some shit. Rogue. Nope. Nope in all the way out of there. DM. Begrudgingly puts away combat notes. Clerk. What was that? DM. Nothing. Nothing. Rogue. All that's left is the double doors. Kind of a small dungeon. DM. Give me a break. I only had last night to prepare. Wizard. Did I wake up yet? DM. Technically you're catatonic, but no. Fighter. What about me? I got to have beaten this game by now. DM. Rolls behind screen. No, but you did run out of silver. Fighter. What? No! I need to get some silver. Rogue. What the actual balls? DM. One of the little monsters quickly points out a machine to you, urging you to stick some gold into a slot. The machine you've been toying with for the last hour has begun to count down. Ten. Nine. Fighter. I run to get change, quickly. DM. You hastily reach into your coin purse and pull out a gold coin. Alas, in your excitement, you fumble to stick the coin in the slot. Fighter. No! Dex check! Dex check! Rogue. What about you, Cleric? Cleric. I'm thinking electric blue. Wizard. What? I thought you weren't going to get your hair dyed. Clerk, the animals already suffered. Figured I might as well make use of it. I'm not a druid. Rogue, why couldn't it have just been a normal dungeon? Seriously. Rogue, so it's just the double doors then? DM, yeah. On the archway above them are large glowing runes, which you are unfortunately unable to read. The centre of the archway is dominated by a massive and intimidating demonic statue with outstretched arms, beckoning you to enter. Rogue. God damn it, they look super scary, don't they? DM. They glow with an unending radiance and fill you with portentous dread. Make an intelligence check. Rogue. Oh shit, I forgot about traps. Roll. DM. You recognise only a few words. You interpret it as the veil of carnage. Rogue. Sounds homey. I check for traps. Roll. Damn it. DM. You find no traps. However... When you inch closer to inspect the door, you hear an eerie voice from the statue above. With a dark and menacing snarl, it begins to move. Roll initiative. Rogue. Fuck, 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 fuck! Fighter. Hell yes, I finally won! Bow down before the king of the arcade, bitches! Rogue. What the hell? I didn't expect to fight. DM. It's a dungeon. Rogue. Of course there's monsters to fight here. Fighter. Yeah, I've been busy with one for like ten rounds. Rogue, shut up, fighter, I swear, I will stab you dead. DM, the monsterlings all cheer and clap for you. Fighter, the screen begins to erupt with pixelated fireworks and a bit chin fanfare. It humbly requests you to enter your initials. Fighter, easy. A, S, S. Wizard, nice. Cleric, really? Everyone's gonna call you ass now? Fighter, you mean they weren't before? Rogue, facepalm. At least you're done, right? Hurry up and help me take out the statue. DM. One of the monsterlings stands before you, fighter. He appears a bit taller than the other ones, and quite cocky to boot. 
He points a claw in your direction and challenges you to deadly combat. Fighter. What? Seriously? I can mop the floor with this guy. I draw my... DM. He raises a single silver coin and points at a nearby machine. You recognise the writing above. Deadly combat. Fighter. Oh, well, that's a bit different. Rogue. Speaking of deadly combat. Wizard. Am I uncatatonic now? Dame, uh, rolls. You begin to hallucinate, dreaming of small, fat birds crashing into a keep, guarded by orcs. They are helpless to the feathery onslaught of avian creatures. Wizard, cool. Can I ride one? Cleric, all right, I think I'm done. Rogue, finally, come out here and help me! Cleric, what? No, I've decided to go with crimson red, totally metal. Fighter, but you're a cleric of Alona. Clerk. Nope. Already settled on. Let's do this. Rogue. You're enjoying every second of this, aren't you? DM. Your tears. They are so delicious, Rogue. Rogue. Whatever. I can do this. It's just a statue. DM. You've won initiative. What do? Rogue. I stab it. Viciously. Rolls. Die, statue! Die! DM. The statue shrugs off the blade with its stone skin and smiles at you with grim intent in its hollow eyes. Roll. With serpentine grace, it begins to grapple you and hugs you with a death grip. Rogue. No, escape! I roll the escape! Roll. DM. Alas, your efforts are in vain. The statue has you in its clutches. As you struggle to break free, you are momentarily blinded by a flash of bright light. Rogue. I don't want to be a statue! (gasps) No! DM. The statue then releases you from its grasp and hops back into the archway above. A moment later, it spits out a scrap of stiff parchment, which flutters down into your hands. Rogue. What? What the actual balls? DM. It depicts your struggle with the statue locked in embrace, with it winking in your direction. Oh god. Rogue. I wish I could hate you to death. I swear. Rogue. Fuck this, I'm opening the doors. Anything to end this madness. Clerk. I think this is pretty fun, actually. Fighter. Hell yeah, totally wrecked that little dude. Not even a challenge. Wizard. I'm unconscious and I'm not even mad. DM. Catatonic. Wizard. Whatever. Rogue. I open the doors. DM. Strength check. Rogue. Seriously? Rolls. Finally, a decent roll. DM. The large doors slowly creak open and a rolling fog of thick purple smoke pours forth. Soon, a piercing bright light appears to break through the smoke, and an aria of wailing voices filled with despair and sorrow begin to echo from beyond the doors. Rogue, starting to regret my decision. Fighter, dude, you should have waited for us. Clerk, yeah, seriously, I only had a haircut for Pete's sake. Wizard, or at least dragged me with you. DM. The troll also drew in your face, wizard. Wizard. God damn it. DM. Now where was I? Oh right. The lich. Rogue the what? DM. A wave of ghostly apparitions fly screaming out of the fog as a robed skeletal figure beckoned in decadent robes and jewellery glides forth. Unrestrained by anything as mundane as gravity, his eyes burn into your soul. Having been waiting for a thousand years for this very moment. Rogue. Oh, fuck. DM. (laughs) Oh, fuck indeed. He swings his ivory scepter with a flourish and slams it down into the ground. The floor echoes with power, clearing the fog with a wave of arcane might. The unearthly wails from beyond cease, leaving you in an unsettling silence. Rogue. (laughs) Guys, seriously, get here now. Fighter, fuck that. I want to see your ass get handed to you. Cleric, don't be an ass, fighter. Fighter, see, told you. DM, <clears throat> DM. Finally, the silence is ended with the lich, cackling at its newfound freedom. Thank you for releasing me from my tomb, thief. I have long awaited a champion to venture into my crypt. Rogue, <laughs> you're welcome. DM. For a thousand years I have toiled to master and perfect the powers that be, to create my greatest work, the Veil of Carnage, and my final resting place shall be yours as well. DM. 
Suddenly, a fanfare of delightful music echoes from the chamber beyond. Past the lich, you see an amazing structure, never before seen in your wildest dreams. Reels of shining mithril surrounded the massive chamber, as a large roll of carts dash about them at mind-boggling speed. A wheel the size of a colossal dragon stretches as far past where the ceiling should be, with small boxes slowly spinning around its edge. Undead roam the chamber floors, some holding stuffed animals, and others dragging along floating spears of varying designs. DM. Welcome to the carnival! <laughs> Rogue. Fuck you, DM! Fuck you! Well, who knew we were going to have a story about a good witch so soon? <laughs> after, uh, after the LARP camp and all that. Uh, so, like, I found this story in amongst a thread where the guy was asking for, like, you know, ideas for this Pistic dungeon. There was a lot of really good comments down below. But I like this, like, overarching story. But if you guys really enjoyed this, let us know. And we might go back and just do, like, a thread style video for this. If you guys, if that's what you guys would be interested in. It was a fun story to start off the new year with. Anyway. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. So, like, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all that other good stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh,